So in this module, we'll look at uh, the features that are provided for visibility. So what is going on in one's cloud OC Oracle Cloud Infrastructure account from security perspective, and how does an administrator see and get notifications for those? So the first service is the audit service. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure audit service records all API calls to resources in a customer's tenancy, as well as login activity from the UI. So using this audit service, customer can achieve their own security and compliance goals by monitoring all user activity within their tenancy. Because all console, SDK, and CLI calls go through our go through Oracle Cloud Infrastructure APIs, all activity for those sources is included. These audit logs are also searchable via the OCI console. In addition, these uh, audit records are available through an authenticated and filterable query API, or you can retrieve them as batch files from Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage. So what do these logs contain? Um, the content include what activity occurred, the user that initiated, initiated that activity, the date and time of the request, as well as source IP, user agent, and HTTP headers of that request. So new events are available within 15 minutes. There is 90 days of history by default, which is configurable up to 365 days. Next, let's look at um, Oracle's Caspi Cloud Service. So Oracle's uh, Caspi Cloud Service uh, is a multi-mode multi cloud access security broker, and it provides advanced threat analytics uh, using user behavior analytics and third-party feeds, uh, configuration seeding, monitoring and alerts, and sh shadow IT discovery. So let's look at, <coughs> at Caspi in a little bit more detail. Uh, CASB is uh, uh, on-premise or cloud-based security policy enforcement points. So they, they are basically placed between cloud service customers and cloud service provider to combine and uh, interject uh, enterprise security policies as resources in the cloud are accessed. Now Oracle's uh, CASB cloud service is a multi-mode uh, cloud access security broker, and it provides advanced threat analytics using user behavior analytics and third-party feeds. So what does uh, CASB provide um, from cloud security perspective? So in terms of visibility, it will provide you a uh, complete trans transparency in terms of what's going on in your cloud applications and infrastructure. So this will include users and your devices. Uh, from governance and uh, Compliance perspective, it will identify risk in your cloud applications, um, ensure that they comply with the regulations, and will also provide you consistent compliance reporting. It will also help you identify any anomalies and patterns of fraud or breach across your cloud applications. CASB will also help you uh, with secure provisioning of your applications that you deploy, in, in it, uh, including the configurations, and also the data security. Uh, so you can set up policies to discover and prevent unwarranted actions on your uh, sensitive content and data in the cloud. So these policies uh, allow you to audit alerts, encrypt and quarantine content that you, uh, you, you most need. So Oracle CASP also has integrated threat intelligence uh, that help you detect, predict, and visualize uh, whether your uh, cloud is in under some kind of uh, attack. So this integrated threat intelligence also utilizes uh, machine learning and advanced behavior analytics. So in terms of uh, user behavior analytics, uh, CASP provides dynamic user risk score. Uh, so these are real-time user risk rating based on Lorex machine learning capabilities. And these capabilities help us uh, continually, continually assess and uh, quantify wide range of activities. And these activities will include uh, access patterns, 
uh, privilege user actions and access device uh, characteristics. KSP can also help with uh, streamlining your incident workflow. So you can greatly enhance your um, security of your application provisioning and incident response by placing surveillance on risky users or even denying access to high risk users. So what about users um, that are authorized to use uh, the cloud services? KSP also provides a continual baseline analysis. So it continuously uh, assesses uh, individual users' behavior uh, based on their assigned cloud service access, role and group, and helps you quickly identify anomalies and malicious behaviors. So the CASB service can also be used for shadow IT discovery. Uh, there's a feature, uh, discovery feature that monitors application usage and also displays information about the risk for each of this application. And you can download a list of this application, all these applications for uh, further analysis as well. So Oracle uh, CASP service monitors the security of uh, Oracle Cloud infrastructure deployment through a combination of predefined Oracle Cloud infrastructure specific security controls and policies, uh, customer configurable security control and policies, and advanced security analytics using machine learning. So what does this include? Um, the Oracle CASP security functionality includes uh, monitoring uh, uh, variables such as security misconfiguration of Oracle Cloud infrastructure resources, uh, monitoring credentials and privileges, uh, user behavior analysis for anomalies uh, in user actions, and threat analytics for identifying any risk events. So how do we enable uh, Oracle CASP monitoring? To enable CASP monitoring uh, for OCI, you first create an Oracle Cloud Infrastructure application instance with Oracle CASP. Then you provision it with the API keys and credentials of a least privileged IAM user who is authorized to get configuration information and audit log from your OCI account. Once this is done, then Oracle CASP uh, periodically obtains the tenancy configuration information, audit logs, and performs the security analytics. And then it generates alerts for any deviation from the security baseline that is configured. So here we see some examples of uh, CASP OCI security check. So most of them are pre-provisioned, predefined. Um, but as, as mentioned before, you can add additional controls and checks. So here we can see uh, there are alerts for um, object storage bucket that have unmanaged keys. You ha we have alert on API keys that have not been rotated for 90 days. Uh, and then we also have a policy uh, statement alerts where uh, admin and tenancy admin pri privileges are being granted to a group. So here you can also see in the bottom right corner under actions, you can either choose to dismiss an alert or create an incident. So it's a one-stop shop where you can not only monitor and keep an eye out on what's going on in your OCI account, but also can create an incident report with Oracle support. In the next lecture, we'll look at Oracle Cloud infrastructure security from secure hybrid cloud perspective.